Hi there. Have you been thinking about converting some of your IRA or your 401k to a Roth? It's not a decision you should take lightly. There are good reasons to consider converting to a Roth and some disadvantages or unintended consequences you may not be considering. There are also some specific situations where a Roth conversion just simply is not a good idea. This video is going to take you through some important considerations before you convert your tax deferred dollars to a Roth. And we want to emphasize before you take that leap, make sure you talk to your advisor or your CPA who can consult you on your very specific situation. My name is Carlos Lopez. I'm Managing Director of Creative Planning. Are you ready to learn more? Let's get started. There are likely few out there that believe federal tax rates are going to get any lower than they are today. With deficits at their all-time high, many believe that federal rates will only likely go higher from here. In fact, as the law stands today, tax rates are going to go up measurably on January 1st, 2026. Roth IRAs and 401ks uh, grow their investments tax-free, which is awesome, but to put the money into them via conversion means you have to pay taxes. There are some cases where taxes will be minimal, if any, if you're, if you're doing a backdoor Roth con contribution or a mega backdoor contribution through an employer-sponsored plan, but this video is specifically focused on the more traditional Roth conversion. That is, moving money from a previously pre-tax IRA or 401k to a Roth version. It's very important that you consider your overall situation, your planning needs, your perspective on taxes, your actual tax situation, and other factors such as your financial goals before you convert. There are many individual reasons that considering a Roth conversion could make sense, but no one reason that I'm about to list by itself is a reason to convert. You have to take into account your big and total picture. That said, generally speaking here, there are some good reasons to consider converting to a Roth. All right, let's start with the first one. If the position or the investment you are considering converting is lower now in terms of value than in, at a previous higher point, and you're bullish on that particular position, this may be a reason to consider converting that position. It should be known that it is maybe much better for you to convert shares of a stock or ETF that is already down rather than selling that position before you convert turning it into cash, and then rebuying the same position in the market. For example, if you own an S&P 500 ETF uh, fund uh, that today is at lower in value because of market considerations, and you believe it's going to retrace its highs and go on to new gains, you would simply convert the shares of that ETF or fund from your pre-tax IRA to your Roth IRA, or you can do that inside your 401k as well. That way, all future gains would be tax-free from that point on. Another good reason to consider converting is if you're in a lower tax bracket. When you convert, you pay the tax on the conversion and it considers all of your income. This is known as your modified adjusted gross income and it pretty much counts everything from your W-2 income, social security, pensions, interest, dividends, net rental income, deferred compensation, capital gains from the sales of real estate, capital gains from stocks and other investments you may have, and of course, the amount that you actually convert. So when you add all of this up, you'll be able to determine what your federal or your state income tax liability will be. If after factoring all of this, you still remain in a lower tax bracket, a conversion could make sense for you, especially when facing higher tax brackets in 2026 or beyond, or if you just generally believe that the tax rates you will specifically have later on would be higher in future years. Another reason to convert potentially is perhaps you have a desire to keep your required minimum distributions lower. Remember, at age 72, most retirees are forced to take money out of their pre-tax IRAs and your 401ks with very few exceptions. So for some that have saved a lot in these plans, this could result in a higher tax ramification due to an undesirable higher RMD. So to reduce your obligatory RMD, whatever you convert today to a Roth is no longer subject to those RMDs while you're alive thus potentially reducing your income tax liability in the future, especially if you expect those tax brackets that we talked about earlier to go higher. 
Additionally, another reason to convert is you're looking to provide yourself an optional source of income in retirement. For many, the goal is to have three different pools of retirement assets in which to draw from. Taxable, like your joint accounts or your individual accounts or trust accounts, your tax deferred assets like your pre-tax 401k or your pre-tax IRA, and then tax-free assets like your Roth IRA or per perhaps an HSA account. So ideally, if you have three different pools of money of which to draw on, you're more able to decide how to best position your withdrawals to optimize your tax uh, in, in the future years. A final reason maybe to consider converting would be that maybe you're trying to, as part of your larger goal, to provide a tax-free inheritance uh, to your family. So some investors are in a lower tax bracket now and would rather convert those pre-tax IRA dollars into a Roth in order to give their children an income tax-free account, especially if their children are in higher tax brackets than they are. Okay, so we've covered a few reasons why you might want to consider a Roth conversion, but there are also some reasons why you wouldn't want to consider a Roth conversion. For example, you're in a high tax bracket today and you expect to be in a lower tax bracket when you actually anticipate using the money in retirement. All this does is cost you more money than if you simply left it in the tax deferred account and pulled the funds out later at a lower tax bracket. Another reason to not convert is if the position you're considering converting is at a high value or if the market is high, this often doesn't make a lot of sense to convert because you'll be paying a lot more taxes than if you waited for that position to retreat from its highs and then convert. Uh, this has to be reviewed, of course, position by position and also uh, determining what your future outlook of that particular position is. If you're already age 72, a conversion can't happen until after you've first taken out the required minimum distribution for that year. This can cause more taxation in a year when it's not advisable. Again, this is something that needs to be considered case by case. Another reason to not convert is if you have a large estate and you plan to leave some of your estate to charity. The very best investment to leave to a charity is actually your pre-tax 401k or your pre-tax IRA. Why? Because the charity that inherits that money gets it tax-free anyway. So it's better to leave them pre-tax IRA assets um, and then convert only the assets you intend to pass on to your children or heirs. Also, your taxable assets may receive a step up in basis, so that money along with your Roth money is best used or, or, or given to your heirs after your passing. Finally, uh, if you need the money that you're converting within the next five years, a lot of people don't know that each conversion has a five-year waiting period, regardless of the age at which you actually convert. So that's something to take into consideration as well. Now, when converting, you should be aware of there are some unintended consequences that creeps up and surprises a lot of people. Remember, when you convert, you are increasing your income. And as a result of increasing your income, it can cause other problems besides just paying that regular state or federal income tax on the conversion itself. For example, higher income can result in higher premium costs for Medicare, which are based on income. Also, higher income can reduce or cause you to lose altogether the health care subsidies for ACA or the Affordable Care Act, aka Obamacare. Also, you could reduce or potentially lose any Medicaid benefits. You could reduce or potentially lose other state or federal benefits or deductions or credits which are based on income. And finally, taxation of other income that was previously untaxed can suddenly become taxable, such as social security or certain dividends or interest. Roth conversions can be amazing ways to ensure you have options in retirement for different sources of income. One shouldn't be shy about exploring this option, but as I noted in this video, there are reasons to consider converting and reasons to avoid it. And just as important to consider are the unintended consequences of your conversion. So be sure to talk to your financial advisor or your CPA, and if you don't have an advisor, reach out to us. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Have a great day.